Your game highlights are brought to you by Cadence Flow Sports. in behind with some storm uh, with three men for each side coming and we got our first kerfuffle of the night we had the fight earlier but now everybody gathering in behind as all 10 skaters are going at it in behind the net a couple guys being pulled away these will definitely warrant some penalties St. Pierre going at it right now, I believe, with C.J. Valerian. Or no, that's number 87, Jacob Kelly. Initially, it was Cole Golka who was trying to outrace the, uh, the defender, the defenseman, Leonard, for Roanoke, for the icing. Steven, or... Uh, Good defense here by McDade. Oh. Really hard dog. Centering pass and reach out. Comes over. And kicks A with the left pad. Oh, the best chance of the night for either side. And Kevin Resop, as we have come used to saying, said no. What a dandy. Ten bells. Ring all of them for number 31. A turnover at the blue line. And Marcinkovic centered it on a platter for Xavier Filion. And Kevin Resop said no. One-time chance off the draw is deflected wide. Rail Yard Dogs have the last five shots. Now the storm come away. This one by... And we'll try to speed up ice again. Definitely the extra space has benefited Roanoke here. Pepe now gathers in his own end. They'll get some fresh bodies on. There is Mason M. Off. First time we've seen called his name tonight he is on the ice for quad city up ice now here they come it is pepe pepe looking to get rid of it he takes a big shot there there's two guys going behind here's christ christ will fire a shot he scores what a shot there is bruno christ his first of the season caught it from the top of the right circle his first as a pro as they grab that puck and bruno christ the hungarian native steps in and absolutely rips it from the top of the right circle and beats Resop. the last six shots now all to Roanoke and the rail yard dogs break ice here with 447 to go in the opening frame And now Ford, and now Ford comes away. Ford is racing in at the left circle, and he scores. Mike Moran with a couple unfortunate bounces. One would have gave him a two on zero in front of the net, and then Moran was coming down ice. Mike Mike Moran just loses the puck, and it's turned over. Nick Ford gathers it, and he waltzes right in and spurns Resop, and it's two nothing Roanoke. Pirouette's back, hands it off here to Pommetville, or Pommetville, throwing on to the side of the cage, and a shot saved by Rodebush. Chiavo gets it to Pommerville, works it over here, dusted it off to Roche, to Pommerville, over to Chiavo, Chiavo, top of the right circle, fires a shot and hit the post! It got past Rodebush, but the near side post 
keeps it 2 nothing. Pinching here is Schiavo. Nice cross ice pass. One timer by DeRose. Save ball up Rodebush. Rebound. Gulka scores. Rodebush got out of position. Gulka pounces and punches it home on the wide open page. And just like that, the lead is cut in half. The score with fantastic opportunities. What a pass right there. Cross ice to set it all up. And coming away with it, it was actually, I believe, Johnny DeRoche with his first of the year and his first as a member of the storm. That pass from, from John Opportunity for with a come the storm. Here's Nelson racing after the loose puck. Nicely knocked off there by Roach. Nelson tried to knock it off him, and now here comes the rail yard dogs. McDade with it on a three on three. McDade knocked off there, but good job to stay strong and they'll keep it and he carries it in behind. Centering opportunity and they score. Just like that, the rail yard dogs come right back. It is Billy Roach who made the defensive play here on Logan Nelson right on this end. Seconds earlier to coming down and being the one to cash. Backhand pass will be hammered in by Quad City. McCormick will be the first one there, and he will chip it down below the red line. McDade kind of throws it away, and McCormick comes away with it for the storm, trying to dig it out. All of a sudden, Filion is the one to come racing up with it here for Roanoke. First one there is going to be going to be Jansen. McDade has it, lost it. Nelson comes out with it. Over to Matson. Cross ice pass. Here's the storm of Jansen from Bernal to the score. What a pass from McCormick. He set him up perfectly. Nelson with his stick on the ice. And just what the doctor ordered. The storm cut it in half once again in the final minute of the fray. And it went off the side of the cage, off the shot from Kelly. Up ice, here come the Storm. Trying to find center ice, they do to Moran. Moran to Palmerville, three on two. In front to Moran, and it goes just wide. Oh, what a chance for the Storm. But Mike Moran, who's had a couple of them right on his stick in the, at the goal mouth tonight, that time, again, was unable to cash in. The best chance of the period for Quad City. Racing up ice, here comes DeRoche. DeRoche gains the red line with a head of steam. Gets into the offensive zone. DeRoche all the way to the net. Trying to sub it up. Second chance here for Ustowski. He scores! Matt Ustowski buries it in front. And this game is tied. Johnny DeRoche with a head of steam from goal line to goal line. to the back door what a find from kelly and just like that the air is sucked out of the building and the dogs are back in front it's four to three City Storm Hockey means Storm fans hear your message. Rodebush will cover. Corner, corner. Blaisdell unable to hold it in. 240 to go. We'll see when the storm will pull Reese up. 
two and a half. Six on five. Here is Fournier. Fournier works it over to the far side now. Thrown in front. Save made. Second chance. Goes in behind. Matson trying to dig it out. Looking to get it to Nelson. Matson gets taken down. No call. Fans are apoplectic. The rail yard dogs come away with it. Chance at the empty net. Nice move to get by. Backhand opportunity and a goal is scored. And that right there should do it. A great job and effort by Josh Nenadol, who got up ice and made a couple of nice moves in with a Kobe. Ice in the neutral zone. to start the season and the storm fall to 0-2. It was a back and forth battle all night long. The storm trailed by two multiple times and they were able to bounce back and have some moments here in this game. Kevin Resop played another fine performance here tonight. Gotta believe we'll probably see Brent Moran tomorrow in the second matchup. Well, unfortunately, the Storm were unable 